A section of aggrieved vendors in Kabale district has today taken another bold step towards seeking justice for a number of concerns. The grievances they have raised encompasses a range of unanswered issues that hinder their ability to operate successfully, and these include poor zoning of vendors in the new Kabale market, high rent corrected by the lockup owners, corruption and segregation in the distribution of space in the market, where some say that they were denied space, among many others. This presented their grievances to the Minister of Local Government, Honor Rafael Majes, who had made a quota service to the new Kabale Central Market. <laughs> Honor Majes instituted a committee to investigate the mess around the allocation of space to vendors in the newly built Kabale Central Market on 31st January 2023 after claims arising that the authorities received bribes to allocate stores and lockups to unknown people, civil servants, and their relatives amid this probing if it is true that Biamudisha Central, the current priority mayor, was leading the allocation team. As one makes their way to the recently inaugurated Kabale Central Market, a sight that greets them is the number of closed lockups. These closed shops, which were expected to be bustering with activity, now stand silently, evoking a sense of curiosity and concern. The Kabale Central Market, that symbolizes progress and development for the local community, was officially opened in the early January of this year. With great anticipation, vendors and customers alike anticipated the opportunities and economic growth that the market would bring. However, the current state of closed lockups raises questions about the market's initial promise and the reasons behind the vacancies. During their presentation to the Minister of Local Government, a group of aggrieved vendors, including Richard Porera, Jody Guandare, Richard Rukundo and others, expressed their dissatisfaction with the allocation process of vendors in the new market. They requested the minister to consider starting afresh with the relocation process, citing allegations of corruption and the improper channels used by the allocation authorities. These vendors firmly believe that the allocation authorities, responsible for assigning stalls and spaces within the new market, engaged in corruption practices. They argue that the allocation process was not conducted transparently or fairly, compromising the integrity of the market and is advantageous to many vendors. <laughs> So, in addition to their concerns about corruption in the allocation process, the aggrieved vendors have raised another significant issue during their presentation to the minister. 
they have expressed frustration over the exorbitant rental fees they are being charged by the lock up owners within the market. These high rental costs are greatly impeding their ability to generate income and sustain their businesses. The vendors assert that they are being required to pay substantial amounts, often in the millions, to the lock up owners for the privilege of using their stalls or spaces. <laughs> In response to the grievances presented by the vendors, Minister Majez referred to the provisions of the New Market Act. According to the Act, the minister stated that vendors should not be charged for obtaining stores and space within the market. Instead, all vendors are considered tenants for the municipality, implying that the allocation of stores and purses should not involve any financial transactions between the vendors and the lock-up owners. <laughs> Furthermore, Minister Majes emphasized that it is unacceptable for lockups to remain closed for an extended period of about three months. This impressed that the vacancies and lack of activity within the market are not in line with the intended purpose of the facility. Minister Majesi further vowed not to leave the district until a solution is found for the grievances presented by the government. <laughs> The Ugandan Shilling's 23 billion Kabale Central Market was built by the Chinese Chongqing International Construction Company, holding a total number of 1,023 stalls, dining hall, a facility, a kindergarten, and police station. From the committee that was set by the minister to investigate the mess in the distribution of stalls and rock-ups in the new market, findings highlighted extortion of money from the vendors, idle shops, selling of lock-ups to non-vendors, improper zoning and misuse of lock-ups among others. A story by John Anamara, Robert Nyamachi for Kigaz TV.